Shadow the cow! There's a spider! Oh Wait, my gosh. What? What is that's, that? That's not a spider, Brandon. That is the world's smallest Game Boy. What's up guys, welcome to Hack Make Mod. I'm Brandon. And I'm Chad. And today we're gonna to be talking about Thumby, the world's smallest handheld game. So it's technically not a Game Boy, but it does look like a Game Boy. It's modeled after it. We have a pre-release model mm -hmm. and it has Tetris on it. And there's other games available like Space Debris, which is similar to Asteroids, Annelid, which is like a classic snake game, Thumbgen, which is a dungeon adventure, and Sauru, which is a dinosaur themed side scroller. Something very important I want to make sure I bring up is Ben Rose is the visionary for this. Where this does was... he row to? <laughs> <laughs> I know he's put a lot of work into this over the past mm -hmm. couple of years, and it's really a neat little product. So Chad, Tiny Circuits is the company that makes this. Can you tell me a little about it? Tiny Circuits is located in Akron, Ohio. Mm -hmm. They make uh, products like this. This is one of the ones they're most known for. It's the Tiny Arcade. Mm -hmm. It has a bunch of different games that you can download and put on it. Also. They have a whole arsenal of Arduino-based circuits called Tiny Circuits that they've mm -hmm. built, and it's it's good for education. It's good for you know people to buy and do projects. Chet, I want to know why does everything have an Arduino in it? What's up with this Arduino stuff? Arduino is pretty amazing because they're microcontrollers that you can program to do pretty much anything. You've got an input, you got an output, or you got multiple inputs, multiple outputs, and you mm -hmm. can write code that says do this when that. Wow. But if you really want to learn more, why don't we just go up the tiny circuits? Oh wait, we can go right now? Yeah. Oh snap, let's go, what are All we right. doing? Essentially, Tiny Circuits, we make little tiny circuit boards. Our first system were these different boards that kind of work like electronic Legos, so you can stack them together. So what was your first piece of serious machinery? It was a pick-and-place machine. So this is kind of the, where all the fun stuff happens. So all the different parts and components are loaded onto these reels and then put on these feeders that go into the machine. The big thing is this. This gantry mechanism will move back and forth at the head of the unit. So it uses air and sucks them up and moves to the right place on the board and places the part. So you make all of your products here? We do. Even the, the tiniest of products that you sell, you make here? We make here. So you made this? Yep. So we had made a tiny arcade and a pocket arcade recently. I just want to make something a bit smaller. So how long did it take you to make this? The first prototypes probably, I spent a couple months of just spare time, you know, weeknights and stuff uh, working on it. This latest prototype, we kind of did a full redesign with uh, new parts that became available. You know, a few days working on the circuit board, but then I spent a long time working on the case. I made the original prototype, you know, years ago, but it wasn't really what I wanted because it wasn't easy to program. So a big thing that I achieved with the current version, I was able to fit a new processor in there that can easily be programmed. What I was able to fit is the new Raspberry Pi processor and it uses MicroPython. So you're able to easily upload code. MicroPython, it's a very easy to use and easy to learn programming environment. So a lot of people know Python. MicroPython is just a little bit more constrained to make it more suitable for a small device like this. So it's really easy to get started. If you've never programmed before, it's kind of a nice intro to programming. We have a very nice environment to do it in too. So you don't have to download all software from different places. It's just kind of there. You can get started in a matter of minutes and program your little thumby using MicroPython. I'm really passionate about game development, so obviously like most of my interests are gonna wind up being focused around that. I like being able to create more rich and immersive atmospheres using less information, right? So being able to store more colorful or vibrant or, um, or atmospheric images and sound. As for the Thumby project, so this is my uh, one of my projects called Royalty Free Space Debris because you can't <laughs> call things asteroids. Fly around, there's a nice randomly generated star field. Oh, nice. It's sort of fun to have those constraints because you don't think like knowledgeably like people that have like a 1080 HP TV you don't think like you can do that much with that little yeah. pixels but you can you can do a lot.
that was a fun trip. Yeah, absolutely. It was a blast. So why don't we learn about some of the specs of this? Chad, I actually know some specs about this thing. It's 30 millimeters tall uh -huh. and it's 18 millimeters wide. And, and if you don't know what that is, it's about a little bit smaller than an SD card. So here's a size difference. There's mm -hmm. a Game Boy Color next to it. The screen size is actually 72 pixels by 40 pixels. So Chad, I, I'm not for me, but I'm asking for a friend. How would you simplify that for my what, friend? The, the size of the screen? Yeah. So it's, it's a grid and each dot is a pixel. So there's 72 pixels wide by 40 pixels tall. Mm -hmm. And that's how many dots are on the screen to be able to make up the imagery. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll tell my friends. Okay. <laughs> how long is the battery life on this? I think it's roughly two hours. Oh, okay. On a charge, it's a rechargeable battery. This is probably more of a novelty. I don't know, I mean, you put it on your keychain, I could see like, just- Add a little red downtime. light, you know? Yeah, stopping at the red light. <laughs> Thumbi is a really great choice for people who want to start experimenting with game design. The limitations like the small black and white screen make creating your first game a lot simpler and more approachable. By having some of these constraints, it actually enables you to be a little more creative. Tiny Circuits even has a step-by-step -step game making tutorial to get you started. You know, most of all, I think this is like a really cool conversation piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Chad, actually, where can I get one of these if I wanted one? Yeah, well, if you want one, I could probably give you one. Oh, okay. <laughs> what about them? Oh, if they want one. Yeah. Tinycircuits.com. And you can see this along with all their other Kickstarters and their other projects. They got really cool products. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you drop a like on it. Comment something you guys would like to see us do next. And hey, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. I'm Brandon. I'm Chad. And we'll catch you next time.